Speaking to NNIS a day after Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Shari said that he was ready to discuss issues with India without any preconditions, defense expert P.K. Segal said the entire approach to the talks were tricky as there are attempts on to revive the jaish e muhammad In an indication that he wants a warming up of bilateral ties, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif on Saturday said that Pakistan was ready for talks without preconditions. Sharif's comment came in response to a question. The declaration of Pakistan's willingness for talks acquires significance as Sharif will be in Paris for the COP21 summit where PM Modi is also headed. Both the Prime Ministers of India and Pakistan are scheduled to speak at COP21 climate change conference's inaugural session in Paris which will be attended by 140 heads of state and government. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif makes all these statements on a foreign soil. Every time he is indicated desire to talk to India whether at UFA or here was on foreign soil talking to either the Indian Prime Minister or foreign Prime Ministers and Presidents. However, we are all aware that Pakistan is not being controlled by him. Pakistan is being ruled virtually by the Pakistan Army and the ISI. On one hand, while he says he is willing to talk to us unconditionally, at the same point of time, the Pakistan Army and the ISI are trying to revive Jaish e Mohammed which was banned in Pakistan in 2003 after they attempted three times to assassinate Nav uh, Musharraf. Similarly, there have been reports that the ISI is wanting to carry out strikes through an aerial object, drones or others, and several buildings in, in Delhi. That the threat to India from ISI is becoming more and more real. NSA itself has gone on record by saying that iconic places and places of tourist interest are major areas where ISIS could strike at any point of time. Goa is one of those areas where Russians have bought a lot of property, made lots of investments and maximum number of tours from any country anywhere in the world is today essentially from Russia. In keeping in view the fact that our own government and our own security agencies have been loud and clear saying that such places can be hit. Their, their advisory or a cautionary thing for their travellers is not misplaced. Had I been in place of Russia possibly, I would also issue a similar advisory because should something happen, the Russians will hit back at the government by saying that while you were aware, we were never cautioned. Powered by NNIS.